We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello friends, now in vector calculus we take another topic named as uh, divergence and curl of a vector function. Now we know that a vector is a quantity that has a magnitude in a certain direction and we know that vectors are used to model forces, velocities, tracer and many other physical phenomena. Now a definition of vector field. So a vector field is a function that assigns a vector to every point in space. See we know that a real valued function is what? So it assigns a real number to every point say y equal to fx. So similarly here it assigns a vector to every point in the domain. So vector fields are used to model force fields. So in force fields there are gravity, some electric field and magnetic fields, then fluid flow and so on. Now one concept is divergence. So First of all, let us see what divergence means even in, in its linguistic way also. So divergence is an operation on a vector field that tells us how the field behaves towards or away from a point. Now locally means at a point the divergence of a vector field F at a particular point P is a measure of the outflowingness of the vector field at P. Say if F represents the velocity of a fluid, then what is the meaning of its divergence at some point P? So it is nothing but a net rate of change with respect to time of the amount of fluid flowing away from P. So imagine that the vector field pictured below gives the velocity of some fluid flow. It appears that the fluid is exploding outward, so going outside from the origin. So the divergence of the above vector field is uh, positive because it going outside the flow is expanding. So this is a outward uh, going outside. So the value of the divergence is here positive. And in contrast the vector field represents fluid flowing so that it compresses at it moves towards the origin so coming inside. So since this compression of fluid is the opposite of expansion. So the divergence of this vector field is negative. Now let us formally define the divergence how to find out the divergence. So before that let us first recall our uh, semester 1, uh, we define there the operator del. So that is a del operator and that we know that is uh, i del by del x plus j 
del by del y plus k del by del z. Again we also know that the gradient of a scalar point function scalar point function means the function whose value is scalar. So, this also we know we write like this it is grade f say f is a scalar point function then grade f is we write this way del f that means i delta f by delta x partial derivative plus j del f by del y plus k del f by del z. This is gradient of f. We know that it represents the outward normal to the surface f. Now, we define formally the divergence. So, divergence of a vector point function. So, let this f is a vector point function f is a vector point function and divergence of f we write this way also divergence f and it is defined like this it is a dot product with operator del. So, del dot f. So, we, we can now see that the divergence of a vector point function because it is a dot product. So, not that divergence of a vector field is not a vector field, okay. it is a scalar function. Now, let us see how to find out the divergence when you are given some function f. So, say suppose you are given the vector point function f. So, it is like say uh, we can write like f 1 i plus f 2 j plus f 3 k like this. So, divergence of f equal to this is the formula del dot f. So, it is a dot product between this del operator so, we know i del by del x plus j del by del y plus k del by del z and it is dot product with f 1 i plus f 2 j plus f 3 k and so, this is nothing but del by del x of first component f 1 plus del by del y of second component so f 2 and del by del z of third component so f 3. So, this is the way you can find out the divergence of a vector point function. Let us solve one example. So, find the divergence of say f equal to x square z i minus 2 y cube z square j plus x y square z k say at some point say at the point say p 1 minus 1 1. So, now see the f function is a x square z i minus 2 y cube z square j plus x y square z k 
and see this is nothing but like f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k where this f1 is x square z f2 is minus 2 y cube z square and this f3 is x y square z so now divergence means just take the first component f1 take its derivative with respect to x then f2 derivative with respect to y it's a partial derivative this is f3 and take the derivative with respect to z there is no in between i j k so divergence f so that is the definition del dot f equal to del by del x of first component so that is x square z plus del by del y of second component so it is minus 2 y cube z square plus del by del z of third component so x y square z and it is easy now with partial derivative with respect to x so this is 2 x z then partial derivative with respect to y so it is minus 6 y square z square and this partial derivative with respect to z so it is x y square so this is divergence of f and we want to find divergence of f at certain point so divergence of f at the point 1 minus 1 1 so just plug in the value x as 1 y as minus 1 z as 1 so 2 1 z is 1 minus 6 y square so minus 1 square this is 1 square plus x is 1 y square so minus 1 square and you can just simplify so this is the divergence so minus 3 so here you can say that for this function divergence is negative so coming uh, the flow is coming inside i am just giving you one more example as your uh, homework fine the divergence of say f equal to x y z i plus 3 x square y j plus x z square minus y square z k here point is not given so up to this this is your divergence if point is not given one more example if you want it's simple partial derivative only find the divergence of say f equal to x y z into x i plus y j plus z k so here you should take x y z inside like the f1 function is x square y z f2 is x y square z and f3 is x y z square okay now we okay sometimes it happens that the divergence of a function is zero that means the flow uh, divergence of the flow is not going out not coming inside so that kind of vector is known as solenoidal vector so let us just define so if 
divergence of f is zero then vector f is called a solenoidal vector take care this zero is a scalar Now we define the another concept that is curl of a vector point function. The second operation on vector field that we examine is the curl. Now the curl measures the extent of rotation of the field about a point. That is the uh, physical interpretation. So suppose that vector function f represents the velocity field of fluid then the curl of f at a point p is a vector that measures the tendency of particles near p to rotate about the axis that points in the direction of this vector and the magnitude of the curl measures how quickly the particles rotate around this axis. So, in other words the curl at a point is a measure of the vector fields spin at that point. So, this figure is visualizing this. So, imagine placing a pendle wheel into a fluid P with the axis of the pendle will align with the curl vector. The curl measures the tendency of the pend ped pedal wheel to rotate. So, this is the way the curl is uh, understood, but we define formally mathematically the definition of curl. So, curl of a vector point function. So, let f be a vector point function, of course, it is a differentiable even in divergence also the function f should be differentiable. So, this is this should be differentiable. The curl of f is defined as like this curl of f equal to del cross f. So, it is a cross product. So, this is a vector quantity. So, curl of a vector point function is a vector point function. how to find the curl let us see that part so if you are given a function like this say f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k then curl of f is del cross f and so we can find the determinant like this i j k now del operator so it is del by del x del by del y del by del z and f so f1 f2 f3 this is the way we can find the curl of a vector point function let us solve one example So, let us uh, find the curl of a, so let us take one simple example first. So, find curl f of the function f x square y i minus 
2x z j plus 2yz k and at say say 1 0 2 if point is not given you can just write without that so curl f so the it is i j k then del by del x del by del by y and del by del z and the function f so first component is x square y then second component is minus 2 x z third component is 2 y z and we have to just evaluate this determinant so this is i so now del by del y of 2 y z you can write directly also then minus already minus sign is there so plus del by del z of 2 x z ok then minus j del by del x of 2 y z and minus del by del z of x square y then plus k del by del x of minus 2xz and minus del by del y of x square y. This is just simple the way we are evaluating the determinant. So, this is i. Now, del by del y of 2yz. So, that is 2z del by del z of 2xz. So, that is 2x then minus j del by del x of 2y z is 0 and del by del z of x square y. So, that is also 0 plus k del by del x of minus 2 x z. So, that is minus 2 z and minus del by del y of x square y. So, that is minus x square and now this is curl f and you want curl f at some point say 1 0 2. So, we put x is 1, y is 0 and z is 2. So, this is i, x is 1, z is 2. So, 2 to the 4 plus 2. So, that is 6 plus this is 0 j, z is 2. So, that is minus 4, x is 1. So, minus 4 minus 1. So, minus 5 k. So, this is curl of a function at some point ok I give one or two example to you to find out the curl in this way so let us write find curl of f at the point p 1 minus 1 1 where f is 2 x square y z i minus x z cube j plus 2 y z power 4 k. So, same way you can find out. Now, just like the solenoidal vector where divergence of the function is 0, here also if the curl of the function is a 0 vector, then it is called an irrotational vector. So, so if curl of f is a 0 vector, then this vector f is called an 
इरोटेशनल वेक्टर सो लेट अस सॉल्व सम एग्जांपल find divergence of say g x y z that's a vector point function e power x i plus log of x y j plus e power x y z k so divergence of g is del dot g g is a vector function okay and this is like f1 f2 f3 so divergence of g is like i del by del x of first component so it is e power x do take care here divergence is not having i so that is a mistake okay it's a scalar function so del by del x of e power x plus del by del y of second component log of x y plus del by del z of third component that is e power x y z and del by del x of e power x is e power x del by del y of log of x y so it is 1 over x y and derivative of x y with respect to y is x plus del by del z of e power x y z so that is e power x y z and derivative of x y z with respect to z is x y so divergence is e power x plus 1 over y plus x y into e power x y z that's all now let us take one more example if phi of x y z equal to x y z minus 2 y square z plus x square z square the question is find divergence of grade phi at the point p 2 4 1 now see here phi is not a vector function but you are not asked to find out the divergence of phi you are asked to find divergence of grade phi so first we need to find the gradient of phi and then we can find its divergence so phi is like this x y z this is x y z minus 2 y square z plus x square z square so first we find gradient of phi so gradient of phi is del phi and that is nothing but vector i del phi by del x plus j del phi by del y plus k del phi by del z take care i here del phi by del x so the der derivative of this phi with respect to x and so that is y z plus 2 x z square plus j derivative of phi with respect to y so this is x z minus 4 y z 
plus k derivative of phi with respect to z so that is x y minus 2 y square plus 4 x square z this is our gradient of phi and this will become this is wrong this is 2 x square z sorry now <coughs> this is our f1 this is our f2 and this is our f3 for finding its divergence so divergence of gradient of phi equal to now there is no i j k divergence is a scalar function derivative of first component with respect to x so only first component and in, in, in gradient derivative of the whole function there is no such component so y z plus 2 x z square plus del by del y of x z minus 4 y z plus del by del z of x y minus 2 y square plus 2 x square z. So, derivative with respect to x here. So, this is 2 z square derivative with respect to y minus 4 z derivative with respect to z so plus 2 x square so this is divergence of gradient of phi now we want divergence of gradient of phi at some point at the point 2 4 1 So, that you can find, okay, I leave to you. Take one example. Find curl of F where F equal to gradient of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z this was asked in GTU 17. So, first we find gradient. So, we call this function suppose say phi. So, let us first find gradient of phi. So, that is i del phi by del x plus j del phi by del y plus k del phi by del z. So, that is i the derivative of this function with respect to x. So, that is 3 x square minus 3 y z plus j derivative with respect to y. So, that is 3 y square minus 3 x z and plus k derivative with respect to z. So, this is 3 z square minus 3 x y. So, this is our f this is our f and we want to find out its uh, curl. So, curl f equal to i 
से जे के डेल बाय डेल एक्स डेल बाय डेल वाई डेल बाय डेल जेड देन दिस इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री वाई जेड फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट प्लस दिस इज थ्री वाई स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड दिस इज थ्री जेड स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई एंड सो दिस इज इक्वल टू आई नाउ डेल बाय डेल वाई ऑफ थ्री जेड स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस डेल बाय डेल जेड ऑफ थ्री वाई स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड देन माइनस जे डेल बाय डेल एक्स ऑफ थ्री जेड स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस डेल बाय डेल जेड ऑफ थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री वाई जेड प्लस के डेल बाय डेल एक्स ऑफ थ्री वाई स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड माइनस डेल बाय डेल वाई ऑफ थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस थ्री वाई जेड एंड आई थिंक आई कैन गिव टू यू दिस टू कंप्लीट इट सो इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्ट ओके वी टेक सम मोर एग्जांपल्स Let us take one example. So that the vector f. y square minus z square plus three y z minus two x i plus three x z plus two x y j plus Three x y minus two x z plus two z k r is both solenoidal and irrotational. This example was asked at least five times. so now we know solenoidal means divergence of that function is zero e rotational means curl of that function is a zero vector so for this f we need to find its divergence and for the same vector we need to find its curl so let us find first the divergence so divergence of f is it's a scalar point function there is no ijk del by del x of first component so del by del x of y square minus z square plus 3y z minus 2x plus del by del y of second component 3xz plus 2xy plus del by del z of third component 3xy minus 2xz plus 2z and then find its derivatives so del by del x here is 3y 
sorry no only minus 2 plus del by del y so this is 2x plus del by del z so minus 2x and plus 2 and we see that this is 0 so f is vector f is solenoidal okay we want to prove it is e rotational also so we need to find out its curl so curl of the function f so this is i j k then del by del x del by del y del by del z so first component is y square minus z square then plus 3yz minus 2x then second component is 3xz plus 2xy and the third component is 3xy minus 2xz plus 2z so let us solve uh, evaluate this determinant so this is i and then del by del y of 3xy minus 2xz plus 2z minus del by del z of 3xz plus 2xy minus j del by del x of 3xy minus 2xz plus 2z then minus del by del z of y square minus z square plus 3yz minus 2x plus k del by del x of 3xz plus 2xy minus del by del y of y square minus z square plus 3yz minus 2x so this is i now del by del y of 3xy minus 2xz plus 2z so that is only 3x then minus del by del z of this 3xz plus 2xy so that is 3x then minus j del by del x of 3xy minus 2xz plus 2z so that is 3y minus 2z minus del by del z of y square minus z square plus 3yz minus 2x so that is a minus sign and again right bracket so that is minus 2z plus 3y plus k del by del x of 3xz plus 2xy so that is 3z plus 2y and minus del by del y of y square minus z square plus 3yz minus 2x so that is 2y plus right bracket here plus 3z and we can see that this cancel 
so same term plus minus sign so this is 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k and so it is 0 vector so curl of f is a 0 vector and therefore f is vector f is an e rotational vector Let us take one more example. Find constants A, B and C such that vector v this is x plus 2 y plus a z i plus b x minus 3 y minus z j plus 4 x plus c y plus 2 z k is e rotational. So, we know that the vector e rotational then its curl is a 0 vector. So, given vector v is E rotational and therefore its curl is a zero vector and therefore I J K then del by del x del by del y del by del z then this is x plus two y plus a z then here it is b x minus 3 y minus z then this is 4 x plus c y plus 2 z and this determinant should be a 0 vector. So, therefore, this is i into like this del by del y of 4 x plus c y plus 2 z minus del by del z of b x minus 3 y minus z then minus j del by del x of 4 x plus c y plus 2 z minus del by del z of x plus 2 y plus a z then plus k del by del y of x plus 2 y plus a z minus ok there is a mistake sorry. So, plus k del by del x of b x minus 3 y minus z minus del by del y of x plus 2 y plus a z and that is equal to 0 vector that means 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k. So, therefore, i del by del y of 4 x plus c y plus 2 z. So, that is c here then del by del z of b x minus 3 y minus z. So, that is what minus and the derivative is minus 1. So, this is minus minus plus. 
then minus j derivative of 4x plus cy plus 2z with respect to x is 4 minus derivative here is with respect to z x plus 2y plus a z so that derivative is a minus sign so minus a then plus k this derivative with respect to x so that is b and minus derivative of x plus 2y plus a z with respect to y is minus and this is 2 and this is 0 vector so 0 vector is 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k so you can just compare the component so therefore c plus 1 equal to 0 then minus of 4 minus a equal to 0 and b minus 2 equal to 0 so therefore c equal to minus 1 a equal to 4 and b equal to 2 thank you